we got another surprise guest. Are you there? <laughs> hey, what's up, Raven? Hey, how are you? And Good. Uh, uh, Russell is uh, our buddy that's uh, in town. Uh, I know that he's uh, been posting all those beautiful photos out the coast, uh, especially that eagle one. Man, oh, <laughs> amazing. So uh, you're doing. You did a film, and uh, we'll let you talk a little bit about that. It won some awards, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about how people can see it. Yeah, for sure. Thanks, thanks for uh, letting me pop in on you. A little, a little surprise. Um, yeah, we. Uh, <clears throat> well, uh, a friend of mine and I, uh, Jeff Bearhand, uh, who's a Gila River Navajo, um, uh, last year decided to get together and make a short, and uh, we were able to in network with some other people in the area, Riley Gibson and Dylan Glockler, who you know, Dylan's a very accomplished uh, director of photography, working on other projects. Uh, uh, in California and elsewhere, and we made a short, uh, The Sweet Sorrow, which actually we've got the first Olympia screening on Sunday, June 9th at 7 p.m. at the Brotherhood, uh, downtown Olympia, and uh, probably have another screening or two. Um, but we uh, entered the 72-hour film festival as, uh, of course, our group, uh, Olympia Film Collective, uh, our website, olifilm.com. And uh, it was it was a fun experience. We got to work with a couple of people out of Tacoma too, and it's been great to just network with other filmmakers in the area and kind of hone our chops. And um, our film, we incorporated the the Art Walk Parade into it, which it worked beautifully. And there were 27 entries into the Grand Cinema's 72-hour uh, film festival. Uh, May 10th, which was Friday, uh, well, Friday we had we went up there to the Rialto where they actually had the uh, screening of the 27 films, and uh, they handed out their awards for 2013, and we took uh, best use of dialogue and also best film, which was you know we were pleasantly surprised and uh, uh, very excited. Um, so yeah, it was a blast. We got a great crew. There's so many good people. I mean, we've been blessed to have some good actors. Uh, uh, and for this particular one, we used uh, Becky Smith, also Stella Diaz, and Chris Kepler, who uh, were available on the spot for us. The 72 is kind of tricky because you've got to do everything within 72 hours from, you know, writing it to, uh, you know, filming it and editing it and have it ready, shipped out, you know, uh, and in their hands uh, by 7 o'clock on Sunday night after we just get our instructions uh, Thursday at 7. And the, the thing, too, is that they... Um, you made it look real easy. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a little tricky because they they give you an envelope. Everybody shows up at the Grand Cinema that Thursday night at seven, and they give you an envelope uh, that uh, every year they change the criteria, so you don't know what's coming the next year. And they tell you four different things that you have to have within your film, and then of course you got to incorporate it into the story. And and uh, but it was it was a blast. It was fun. And uh, like I said, we were very blessed to uh, have walked away with two awards and. and you know, OFC is is growing. I mean, we're always out there to collaborate with other people, uh, and you know, we've got uh, we've got some other things slated that are in the works that we're currently working on for the year. So we're not done yet. You know, we're still still hungry and still trying to reach out there. But uh, uh, but yeah, appreciate you. You know, having having me on and uh, just being able to talk a little bit about you know what we've been up to. Yeah, well, hopefully we'll we'll uh, schedule something where we have a little bit more time. I appreciate you taking this time right now to share with us, and uh, we're looking forward to the next film. Well, thank you for what you do for Indian Country, and uh, just love your show, and and keep on keeping on. All right, so uh, we uh, 